In this video, we'll be looking into construction of PDA using the final state method. So this is the fourth example. So we need to design PDA for a language W, C, W to the power R. So W comprises of A plus B star. So it could be either A or B or lambda also. So in case of final state method, we know that uh, we need to push. Firstly, we need to push all the W's onto the stack. So whenever we encounter lambda or c, whenever lambda or c is encountered, we need to change the state. Change the state. So on top of uh, the stack, if there's a or b, we need to keep it as it is in case of uh, when when we encounter lambda. So for w, we are uh, keeping on pushing the elements onto the stack. So here uh, for w, we keep on entering the elements. Now coming to uh, wr, when we have to start from wr, we need to pop elements here. We need to pop uh, a. For here in case of small a, we are entering capital A. In case of small b, we are entering capital B into the stack. For wr, pop capital A whenever pop capital A whenever small a is encountered and pop capital B for every small b. So this is how uh, popping here means uh, we, we are replacing uh, a or b by lambda. So once all W and WR are exhausted, we can change the state. So here I'll consider uh, four uh, possible. Let us consider the four possible strings or let's say strings. So W1 being A, B. C followed by I have B here and A here. Whatever is there here, a mirror image of that should be here, but in middle we have C. That's what basically W C W power R means. W2 I'll take as B A C A and B. W3 I'll take it as A A B C B A A and W4 I'll take it as um b b a c a b b so these are uh, w1 w2 w3 w4 work for all combinations and all lengths of the given language That's why we are considering these four uh, strings. So let me start with the first case. So case one, W1 is equal to A, B, C, B and A. So let me draw a stack here. Initially, the stack was in Q0 state and it was empty. Yes. Whenever A is encountered, on top of stack, we will add capital A. So again, whenever B is encountered on top of stack, we'll add capital B. Now, after A, B, I have C here, A, B, C. So whenever C or lambda is encountered, I need to, I need to change the state and whatever is there on top of stack would be as it is. Yes, I've kept B as it is. Next, uh, I have B here. Whenever wr part we are considering we need to pop the elements so i'll write b here so whenever b is being encountered we need to pop capital b so i'll put lambda here a and s next whenever a is being encountered a b c b and a so again lambda lambda and here s so once the word is finished a b c b a I have lambda at the end. There's nothing here, right? So let's consider lambda. 
so a b c b a lambda so whenever lambda is encountered we need to change the state and the contents here s would be remaining that is the stack is empty so this was for case 1 now i'll consider for case 2 that is w2 is equal to b a c and a b so q not initially the stack was empty so when b was encountered capital b was added on to the stack next when a was encountered s b and capital a was added on to the stack and then i have c here b a c so whatever is there on top of stack would remain as it is but the state would change next i have capital uh, b a c next i have a here so whenever a is there for wr we need to replace a by lambda next i have b here b a c a b so i'll replace b also by lambda so once the uh, once the string is finished i have followed by the string i have lambda at the end right so the the state is changed but then s remains as it is so this was for case 1 and case 2 now we'll write for case 3 and case 4 case 3 i'll write w3 is equal to a a b c b a a so initially the stack was in q not uh, state and it was empty when a was encountered a pop it uh, push it again a is encountered so push again one more a next b is encountered so push capital b a a b next we have a b c c is being encountered so whatever is there on top of stack keep it as it is and change the state from q0 to q1 next we have b here so when b is being encountered in wr part so we need to replace this b by lambda yes next we have a when a is encountered re uh, replace this a by lambda next when this a is encountered replace the uh, the left a with lambda so once the word is fin once the string is finished we have uh, lambda right at the end so change the state from q1 to q2 and the stack is empty looking at case 4 i can write w4 is equal to um b b a c a b b so initially it was in q0 state the stack was empty when b was encountered we need to push b again b is encountered so again push b now a is taken as input so write a on top of stack and then you have c so whatever is there on top of stack keep it as it is but then the state changes from q0 to q1 next when a is encountered for this a you should replace you should pop lambda so lambda b b s again for this b this b needs to be changed so lambda b and s lambda 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 s and when the w4 word is uh, uh, w4 string is exhausted you have lambda at the end so the state changes from q1 to q2 s is left out so now that we are done with uh, showing the transitions for uh, show the, showing the uh, like how the strings are being accessed in the stack we'll now draw the consolidated uh, transition diagram for all these four cases so from the first case we can write that whenever the input is s on on top of stack it was s a was introduced um then the remaining contents are a and s similarly when s was there uh, similarly when s was uh, s was on top of stack then b was encountered so we have b and s next coming to this we have 
uh, a on top of stack then small a was the input then we get a a when b was on top of stack and small b was the input uh, we get the contents b b and then we have a and over over small b over small b we would get b and a and here b was on top of stack over small a we got a and b so this was this is uh, for q not self loop okay and here we get b c b and a c a and s c s so whenever c is uh, being encountered in these positions although they are uh, although the values are same whatever was there on top of stack is remaining as same if b was here it is remaining b itself if, if a is here it remains a itself and if there's if we consider w 1 2 3 4 we have taken it if we take w5 as lambda so over lambda also it will remain the same but then there would be a transition from q0 to q1 state okay that's what i have uh, shown here so here in case of self loop uh, if a was on top of stack and if i have encountered small a i'll replace it by lambda and then if b was on top of stack if one if b is small b is being taken as input then replace it by lambda then over here that is q1 to q2 condition i have only one that is s lambda s on top of stack s was there and when lambda was read as input the state changed from q1 to q2 but then the contents are same s and s so this was about the uh, transition diagram this was about the consolidated transition diagram for all four cases now we'll look into the transition function defining the transition function so initially we'll write the state followed by the pdag then i have transition of state comma whatever was there on top of stack and then the input string is equal to the state will either remain in same or it will change comma whatever is remaining contents needs to be written here so let me write the uh, let me write all the transitions here so in q not state i have s0 as i'll write all these so here i have written all the pdag grammars uh, along with the state so on this side let me write the transitions so transition initially the state was q not then uh, the on top of stack what do we have here on top of stack we have s and what was the input string small a so i'll write similarly for all others q not was the uh, state and on top of stack i had s and input was b here also q not a and a q not b and b q not a and b q not b and a q not s and c q not a and c q not b and c here i have q1 a and small a q1 b and small b q1 s and lambda so these should be equal to if i check for q not they it will remain in the same state right and whatever is left out the stack contents here i have as so i'll write q not comma as here i have it will remain in the same state q not comma bs this will remain in the same state q not comma a a this will remain in the same state q not comma b b this will remain in the state in same state q not comma b a this will remain in the same state q not comma a b q not c s so over uh, s c s it will change to q1 and on top of stack uh, remaining contents are s over a c a i have it will change to q1 state and a here also q1 state and b coming to this a a and lambda it will remain in the same state but then lambda it will remain in the same state but then lambda and coming to the last s lambda s it will remain uh, it will change the state but then on top of uh, the contents would be the same that is s so here we are done with writing the transition functions my uh, next step is to write the pda define the pda we know that p is equal to q comma sigma comma tau uh, q not z not f and transition function transition function is defined here and q values i have i have considered three states right q not q1 and q2 next alphabets considered here are a and b next i'm done with this this tau values considered here are s capital a and capital b 
Next, Q0, on, uh, the initial state was Q0 itself. Z0, initial, the, on top of stack we had S initially, F, the accepting state here is Q2, and transition function is defined. So, this is how uh, we deal with construction of PDA using final state method. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.